we are going to build a summary of the option positions uh, and how they, uh, what kind of Greeks we have in each of the situation. So now this particular table that I'll be building for you, this is going to be very important from your exam perspective. Okay, so we're going to build, build a summary here. So we are going to need those five columns. Delta of the option, gamma, then Vega, then theta, and then rho. Right? These are your five Greeks. Now let's see uh, what happens in case of a long call. Okay, so you should be able to figure out direction of. Uh, each of these uh, option Greeks for long call. So you tell me if you have a long call, what is the direction of your delta? Long call direction of delta is positive. How about gamma? How about gamma? Positive or negative? Long options, long is always positive. So this is positive. How about Vega? Positive or negative? How about Vega? Positive or negative? It is going to be positive again. How about theta? Negative. How about rho? How about rho? That's going to be positive. So these are your Greeks for long call. Now let's see what happens to long put. Long put. Tell me, what? how about your delta? Long put, delta, negative. Gamma, gamma, come on, gamma, long put, positive, positive, Vega, Vega, positive, theta, negative, rho, negative. Now this should come to you naturally, you know, you should not be able to, you should not be required to memorize it, you know, it should be a part of your process. Now I'll tell you how I'm thinking about it. Okay, so let's say long put. So when someone says, uh, what should be delta for long put, how my mental response to it is, long put means I'm bearish. So my delta has to be negative. But how about gamma? Uh, it's a long option. Long side of the option always has positive gamma. So positive. How about Vega? If volatility goes up, of course, it's going to help my put option. So Vega is positive. How about theta? If one day passes, my option value will reduce. So theta is negative. How about row increase in RFR is not good for my option. So my row is negative, right? That's how I think about it. So the moment you build some sort of a logic around this, uh, you don't have to memorize. It becomes a part of part of your process. And then you've kind of reached that expertise level that you want in option Greeks. Let's look at a short call now. Okay. So let's look at a short call. Now, when you're answering short call, try and not you know, worry about signs of long call. Let's see if we can do them in independently. So short call delta, short call delta, negative, gamma, negative, then Vega, Vega, negative, theta, short position, positive, rho, negative. So these are your short call option directions or Greek directions. And then finally, short put. Finally, short put. So short put delta, short put delta, positive, gamma, negative, then Vega, negative, then theta, positive, and rho, positive. There you go. These are your four possible option positions and <laughs> their directions. If you're going to memorize this, it's going to make your life miserable. The only way you deal with this is you build some sort of a conceptual understanding around it. Now, those of you who have completely got hold of this table, uh, can you give me a me on the box, please? Those of you who feel that you can build this table by yourself whenever you want. That's super impressive. Very nice. And those of you who feel a little shaky, 
uh, you know, can you give me a no, please? Okay. So you guys have plenty of work to do uh, because this is this is kind of uh, the core of you know the concept. You have to be good with this. Okay. Uh, any questions you want to ask here? Now let's do it the other way around. Okay, so let's do it the other way around. Let us think only from Delta perspective. Okay, so now I will make a similar type of table, but this time instead of columns, I'll create rows. So Delta, Gamma, Vega, Theta and rows. And then we will have long call, short call, long put and short put. Okay, so let's think from a purely from a Delta perspective. Let us say you uh, Delta for a long call. So long call Delta, what do you think it is going to be positive? Short call, negative, long put, negative, short put, positive. What was the memory technique? B, 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 bullish, bearish, bearish, bullish, gamma. So gamma, if I'm on the long side, gamma is like that carry bag, right? Gamma is that bag that you're getting free when you're buying for, when you're going for grocery shopping. So when you're buying a call option, you get gammas free. When you're selling a option, you have to give those bags free. So your gammas are negative. So positive, negative, positive, negative. Got it? That's your logic for gamma. Vega, when I'm buying an option, volatility is my friend. When I'm selling an option, volatility is my enemy. So whenever or the Vega and Gamma are kind of friends with each other, uh, can we give them some sort of a memory technique? Can you think of some names with V and G who are friends? Think of some names later on. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. I like it. Uh, okay, there's an excellent name someone has thrown on the box. Avinash, that's impressive. Uh, it's Vegamma. Maybe would work well for Indian students. I'm not sure how much non Hindi speakers will relate with this. Vegamma. <laughs> All right, so Vegamma, they always work in the same direction, right? always in the same direction. So that means positive, negative, positive, negative. Then theta, theta. So when you're buying an option, theta works against you. So negative, positive, negative, positive. And rho, rho and delta are kind of, kind of like friends with each other. So positive, negative, then this is negative, this is positive. So again, rho and deltas work together. Let me try and build some sort of a association technique for you. So delta and rho, they are together. So that's one group. Then gamma and vega, they are one group. And theta is a different group by itself. So these are your technically three groups and that's how you can uh, conceptualize or memorize this option Greeks. Rwanda. Uh, okay, <laughs> fine. Uh, yeah, drone will also work. Drone, will, okay, enough now. So you get the you get the idea, right? So whatever whatever works for you, try and uh, memorize it this way. 